Leftover Legos, drills, three inch screws, solder, mini ITX motherboard, 160 watt Pico power supply, AMD Zathlon 5350. A little imagination and a whole lot of help. Well, this can only mean one thing it's another Mozdek creation the Lego PC. I myself am not a Lego builder. My girlfriend is. So I handed her the back plate to the motherboard and asked her to build a frame around it. Then I came up with a plan to hold the corners with screws. I'm not saying this was a good plan, but my plan nevertheless. I did not glue it at this point because I have to mock up computer parts to the frame as to make it functional. Here's some fun facts. In 1932, a feller by the name of Ole Kirk Christensen founded the Lego group in Billund, Denmark. Often, when one has more than one Lego, they refer to them as Legos, but this is not true. The plural for Lego is, well, just Lego. This is not the first Lego PC ever made, nor the prettiest, and if you're on a budget, probably not the most cost effective. But most of the Lego I'm using in this project either got sucked up in the vacuum and recovered, or had bite marks in them from the kids pulling them apart with their teeth. For the LEGO PC internals, we have an ECS AM1 motherboard, an Athlon 5350 quad-core Cabini processor, with integrated Radeon R3 graphics at a whopping 25 watts TDP. And for power is a 160 watt Pico power supply that I will be using a 12 volt 6 amp power adapter or a 12 volt lithium battery. Believe it or not, LEGO produces more rubber wheels than the leading tire manufacturers, like Goodyear and Firestone. Now getting everything ready to fit properly and keeping the LEGO theme was the hardest part of this project. And oh, before I forget, there's 8GB of DDR3 RAM1600 in here as well. This particular motherboard allows for up to 2GB reserved for onboard video memory, for which I think is neat. And oh, for those who will be leaving comments, yes, I could have put a solid state drive, and yes, I could have put a GTX 1050 low profile graphics card in here. But the truth is, guys, the kids are asking for their Legos back. I thought this would be pretty cool as well just to twist a couple LED lights together and use them for the hard drive lights. Be the end of the video, and I'd be perfectly confident someone out there who built one of these themselves or just thought it was neat could go ahead right now and hit the like button, subscribe, or share.
But as a bonus, if you watch now and only now, you can see some actual game footage from the LEGO PC. The software is free. LEGO PC not sold in stores. To get yours, you have to have an imagination. Believe that you, yes, you can do this.